China spent $70 billion to build the world's largest deep water port, which is Yangshan Port in Shanghai. As a world-class port with an astonishing throughput, Yangshan Port has topped the list for 12 consecutive years in terms of operating capacity. With its strength, it is the boss and looks down on the ports of all countries in the world. So what is so special about Yangshan Port in China? Let's find out in this video. China spent 70 billion to build Shanghai Yangshan Port. In the world, China's infrastructure construction is unrivaled. With the development of the economy, a series of port areas in Shanghai can no longer meet the material transfer needs of the Yangtze River Delta region, so China has taken another step, spending 70 billion yuan to build Shanghai Yangshan Port into the world's largest port. Throughput far exceeds that of the United States. After seeing its huge scale, even the United States can't sit still. After all, the U.S. economy is largely dependent on maritime transportation, and the world's largest maritime port built by China is likely to replace its existing port international status. Shanghai Yangshan Deepwater Port is located in the rugged archipelago outside the mouth of Hangzhou Bay. It consists of Zio Yangshan Island, Donghai Bridge and Yangshan Bonded Port Area and belongs to the Zhoushan Islands. Located in the Yangtze River Delta, this archipelago is a natural haven with a well-developed fishing industry and dense islands. The water depth is generally within 20 meters and the ocean currents are constantly flowing, so no sediment will be deposited. There is no hidden danger of stranded large ships entering the port. It is suitable for building a deep water port. The construction of Yangshan Port involved more than 4,000 scientific researchers. It took six years of research and design preparations before the final plan was finalized for construction. As the absolute main force of the entire Shanghai Port, Yangshan Deepwater Port contributes more than 50% of its container throughput. At the beginning of planning and construction in the 1990s, it showed the courage of extraordinary. The total planned area of the entire port area exceeds 25 square kilometers, so China has divided it into four phases for construction. This superport, which costs 70 billion to complete, actually started construction as early as 2002. By 2012, this dedicated container transport port had at least 30 berths with a depth of up to 15 meters and relied on its own strength to complete a huge annual throughput of 15 million TEUs. With the gradual completion of the laying of Yangshan port equipment, the number of containers handled by this port in 2020 has reached 43.5 million standard containers, which makes Yangshan Port's throughput rank first in the year for 12 consecutive years. And this astonishing container throughput value in 2020 has already exceeded the total cargo throughput of all ports in the United States that year. This is really surprising. The reasons for the amazing throughput of Yangshan Port Yangshan Port's ability to obtain such a strong throughput is actually related to its location and the large number of technologies that China has used in this port. First of all, as a large port, Yangshan Port was not built along the river like an ordinary port or just transformed on the edge of the coast. Instead, it was built on the Zhoushan Islands 30 kilometers away from Shanghai with the help of artificial island technology. This allows the designers of Yangshan Port to give full play to their ideas without worrying that the real surrounding environment will have a negative impact on the construction of Yangshan Port. The distance from the coast also means that the hydrological environment around Yangshan Port is relatively good, which allows builders to obtain a large area of deep water berths without dredging the channel, 
improving the material transfer capacity of Yangshan port. Secondly, spending nearly 100 billion yuan is to build a shipping center port around Shanghai that is commensurate with its economic status. However, it is not dozens of deep water berths capable of berthing cargo ships of 100,000 tons, or even hundreds of thousands of tons, nor hundreds of bridge cranes and guide rail cranes, but the high technology used behind it. Yangshan Port has realized the unmanned intelligent mode and has become the world's leading port in terms of technological content. In addition to the 26 automatic bridge cranes and more than 120 rail cranes in the whole terminal, there are also more than 130 automatic guiding vehicles which will not interfere with each other. Even though it looks busy, Yangshan Port is really empty and there are only a dozen port staff in the operating room who control all the operations behind it. The per capita work efficiency has not only increased by more than 200% compared with traditional ports, but even the entire port can operate 24 hours a day, with a day and night container throughput exceeding 26,000 TEUs. More importantly, with the dual support of scale and technology, the entire Shanghai port has become a first-class port, which not only objectively squeezes out the status of the transit port of the United States, but at the same time, Shanghai has the ability that turn port trade into counterpart trade. This is also one of the reasons why Yangshan Port can have such an amazing cargo handling capacity. Even a world superport like Singapore cannot catch up with Yangshan Port, let alone a considerable part of the U.S. ports that are half-paralyzed due to the epidemic and other reasons. Reasons why China builds Yangshan Port So why is China spending huge sums of money to build this port? The depth of Shanghai's port is only more than 10 meters, and it is difficult for small boats to pass smoothly. They often have to queue for several hours to wait for the low tide to reach the port, and it is often not enough for large ships to reach the waterline. A large port ship like the Mashi No. 7, with a length of about 300 meters and a width of more than 40 meters cannot even enter the port at the stern, let alone dock and load and unload cargo. Faced with this situation, in order to promote the development of shipping, Shanghai leased Yangshan Port in Zhejiang Province and built it into one of the largest deep water ports in the world, which can accommodate large ships in and out, improving cargo handling capacity and port competition force. In addition, Yangshan Port is located in the Yangtze River Delta Economic Zone and is also an important part of the integrated development of the Yangtze River Delta, which can promote interregional connectivity and economic cooperation. The Significance of Yangshan Port to China's Economy With the rapid increase of e-commerce and foreign trade import and export business in recent years, the cargo throughput of Yangshan Port has only increased, and it has firmly ranked first in the world. The construction of Yangshan Port has a huge impact on China's economy and trade. First of all, the construction of Yangshan Port has improved the port operation efficiency and competitiveness of Shanghai and the Yangtze River Delta region and provided strong support for China's economic development. Secondly, the construction of Yangshan Port has significantly improved China's shipping capacity which will help to enhance China's status and influence in global trade. In addition, the intelligent construction of Yangshan Port not only improves the efficiency and safety of the port, but also provides important support for the digital transformation of the Chinese economy. In short, the construction of Shanghai Yangshan Port is not only a manifestation of China's infrastructure strength, but also an important symbol of China's economic development and improvement of shipping capacity.
Its successful experience and intelligent construction achievements provide valuable reference and reference for the global port industry, and also provide strong support for the development of China's economy and trade. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.